Hello, I'm Laurie Steiner, sitting in for Armin Butish. Welcome to the 600th show of Golden Opportunities. Today, making sense of today's economy is challenging. We have priceless advice. Then, is your house overweight? We have tips to trim the clutter. If you're ready for retirement, we'll help you tackle the transition. Plus, we'll wind our way back to the 60s when Wixie was king of the AM airwaves. And how to protect yourself against costly bank, baggage, and phone fees. For the 600th time, it's time to get geoing. So pull up a chair and join us at our kitchen table for golden opportunities. This new year, maybe you're ready to take a new look at your investments and find a new way to handle the impact of the daily news, which it seems to impact all of us. Jim Lineweaver is not new to our show, but he does have some new news on how to make sense of today's economy and stock market. Jim is a certified financial planner with the Lineweaver Financial Group. Welcome, welcome. Well, congratulations on the 600th show. It's oh, great. Yeah, we're very proud of that. Um, it's not news that our economy is still struggling and all. Can you give us a picture of what we're talking about, though? Yeah, a lot of volatility. Yeah, last year was one of the very most volatile years we've had in the last few years because, you know, back in August, you literally had a couple of days in the S&P 500 where within two weeks, you had the biggest gains followed by the biggest losses all in the same index. Very you volatile. Also, yeah, you had the debt ceiling that was finally passed in the 11th hour, and then right around the corner, the U.S. government got downgraded with their treasury. So, tremendous amount of volatility. So, we still have relatively high unemployment you have all the issues still basically going on overseas you know in Europe and Greece and everything uh, so and you have uncertain health care costs with a lot of businesses and stuff not wanting to necessarily hire a lot of people so there's going to be a continued turbulence especially with the increase in potential taxes coming around the corner in 2013 so all this is leading to a lot of volatility and uncertainty with investors Okay, so how does that impact investment strategy? Well, what you got to do is figure out a way to get your emotions out of your investments because that can really just provide a lot of financial hardships. So there's a couple things that you could look at. One is look at just that old rule of thumb that says 100 minus your age is really all the amount of money that you want to have at risk. So, you know, if you're 40 years old, you can have 60% of the portfolio at risk. But if you're 60, you're a lot closer to retirement, you got to flip that and every year put more and more money kind of safely put away stuff you can depend on. All right. So with that rule of 100, um, obviously you're, you're making changes. I, I, what about just kind of riding it out? I thought you sort of buy and hold strategy. You could, but that's not, it hasn't worked in like the last 10 years because literally the S&P 500 over the last 10 years or so has not made you any money. So unless you were in there or had somebody that could kind of actively trade that, it's called dynamic, what happens is the old asset allocations of buy and hold will not allow you to really just kind of catch the trends of what's going on in the market. It doesn't mean you have to pay more fees, but somebody needs to be there minding the store to not be necessarily the first one in, but you don't want to be the last one out either. And over time, that can really help you make a lot of money. Okay, so dyna dynamic, you're, you're moving things around. How often are you talking about? I mean, well, every a day? You're only a day trader, no, right? You don't, no, you don't <laughs> want to do that. <laughs> but what ends up happening is usually like maybe once a quarter, twice a year, something along that nature. Based on when fundamentals are changing, you want to make sure somebody's there to help you try to just catch those waves. But no, don't get back to day trading or anything like that. <laughs> That'd be a whole other show like we'll have a, to talk about. <laughs> it seemed like it was a good idea. So. Right. Um, this seems like it's a very confusing concept for many people. It you know? can be, and a good thing to do, even in these turbulent times where people in retirement, is to pay attention to a lot more dividends. And so no matter what's going on in the market, you're going to continue to always get paid. So there's a lot of good strategies that people can implement. Okay. And I understand that you're offering some help to people. We do. We have a free education program for your viewers, and uh, it's going to be coming up on January 17th. It's on a Tuesday at 1 p.m. and also Thursday, January 19th at 6.30 p.m. at our Wealth Watch Center in Valley View. Just give us a call at 216-520-1711 to reserve your seats. Okay, reservations are important, right? They are, they get filled up fast. Okay, that's very good advice, and I'm glad you're doing a seminar for people to help out, so. Absolutely. All right, investing, investing can be a risky business, but there's no risk in learning the facts. Be sure to attend Jim's seminar or give him a call. The number's coming up next. Find out more by calling the Line Weaver Financial Group at 1-888-313-4009 
or visit www.mindweaver.net. Next, your house on a diet. <laughs>